I'm really pleased to be asked by English Touring Opera to read this poem, Remember Your Lovers, by Sidney Keyes, partly because it was so incandescently and beautifully set by uh, the composer Michael Tippett in his song cycle, The Heart's Assurance. It always moves me because the cycle was a tribute to the memory of Tippett's friend, the writer Francesca Allenson, a music editor and a novelist who'd published with the Hogarth Press, the press run by Leonard and Virginia Woolf, and who at the end of the Second World War, beset by physical and mental illness, drowned herself in a river, leaving Tippett, who had considered marrying Francesca and who loved her very deeply, utterly bereft. So this poem is essentially remembering her and honouring her as a war casualty. It's also a deeply moving poem in its own right, um, moving not only for its content, but for the story of the poet who wrote it. Sidney Keyes was a child prodigy of a poet. He'd started writing amazing verse by the age of 16, and he wrote this poem in an exam hall as an undergraduate at uh, Oxford when he'd finished the exam paper early. And later he rather disowned this poem and thought it was overwrought, but I think when you hear it, uh, you'll realise that he was, he was wrong. Um, the Second World War poets somehow aren't in our minds as the First World War poets are, but I think this is an example of why they deserve to be. Keyes was killed before he was 21. We don't quite know how, either in action at the front in North Africa or some reports say that he was executed by the Germans after being taken prisoner. Um, I'm reading this poem as a, as a male voice, just as Tippett set it for the tenor Peter Piers. Um, it is perhaps more obviously uh, the voice of a woman, but Tippett um, a homosexual composer writing this piece for the couple uh, Peter Pears and Benjamin Britten to sing is clearly reminding us that there were homosexual bereavements in the war just as much as heterosexual ones. So this is Remember Your Lovers by Sidney Keyes. Um, there are four verses of which Tippett said only three, but I thought I would read all of them. Young men Walking the open streets of death's republic, remember your lovers. When you foresaw, with vision prescient, the planet pain rising across your sky, we fused your sight in our soft burning beauty. We laid you down in meadows, drunk with cowslips, and led you in the ways of our bright city. Young men who wander death's vague meadows, remember your lovers, who gave you more than flowers. When truth came prying like a surgeon's knife among the delicate movements of your brain, we called your spirit from its narrow den and kissed your courage back to meet the blade. Our anaesthetic beauty saved you then young men whose sickness death has cured at last. Remember your lovers and covet their disease. When you woke, grave chilled at midnight, to pace the pavement of your bitter dream, we brought you back to bed and brought you home from the dark antechamber of desire into our lust as warm as candle flame. Young men who lie in the carven beds of death, remember your lovers who gave you more than dreams. From the sun, sheltering your careless head, or from the painted devil, your quick eye, we led you out of terror tenderly and fooled you into peace with our soft words and gave you all we had and let you die. Young men, drunk with death's unquenchable wisdom, remember your lovers who gave you more than love. <laughs>